First and just one of the this is Swifties try to kill Trump by Charles Brandon Herrera. Why again? This is second time in like what another month or two. This, ah, I mean, it's not some professional level shit, but still, like people need to calm the fuck down, right? This, like, this is historical. That's his first one was historical. Now this is becoming ridiculous, right? Never in history, like in a long, in, at least in modern history, this has never happened, right? Uh, in America, at least. So th this is just weird, right? I'm, I saw the news popping up, breaking news, breaking news. Some guy in a pink shirt, like he got caught this time. Nobody got hurt. So a secret service worked this time, I guess. I don't know. I knew Brendan was going to make a meme video out of that, right? Like he did last time. So that's why one. Anyway, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe so that way I know which type of videos to react to more. Uh, if you haven't seen other reactions I did, like Brandon Herrera and things, check out the link in the description or in the end of the video end card. Then yeah, let's watch it. Gun Meme Review. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Gun Meme Review. Today's topic. Yesterday, at time of recording, there was an attempt made on former president and potentially future president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. A would-be assassin with a rifle attempted to end the former president's life. No, this is not an old video from July. And no, you are not having a stroke. I mean, you might be. I have no way of knowing that. But seriously, it fucking happened again. Former President Donald Trump is safe after Secret Service opened fire on a gunman at Trump's West Palm Beach, Florida golf course and what the FBI is calling another assassination attempt. Thankfully, this time, the former president was not injured and retardy Oswald Part 2 was quickly apprehended. In fact, at this point, it doesn't seem like there were any deaths or injuries, which is fantastic. But that means we don't have to feel even a little bit bad about dunking on it with some good old-fashioned gun memes. Also, it means DJT is 0-2. Cue the 50 cent cover. No, no, no. Put in the good part. Zero days since last assassination attempt. It has been two times in the last two months. Has that ever... I feel like Trump has since said so many shit, right? Even if he says the N-word, like... People are gonna be like, I guess it's Trump, right? Like, he's one of those people, right? I guess he's done so many shit that wouldn't be like... They would just like blend in together with all the other crap he has done. He literally said like I can shoot somebody in the street and nothing will change. And even he realizes that. He, he muddies the field so much that even if he adds to it, like how much are you going to muddy more type of way? It happened before in American history? If I had a nickel for every time someone tried to kill Trump, I'd have two nickels, but it's weird that it happened twice. Can you Any please stop shooting at me? For five minutes! Trump walking into the Secret Service break room after going 2-0 against assassins. Swear I bet you here! To be fair, according to current information anyway, it seems like security and or Secret Service really did their job this time. The early reports are that Secret Service engaged after they saw what looked like a muzzle of a rifle poking out through a chain link fence. It's not even clear if the would-be assassin actually even got a shot off at Trump. Meaning that once again we have proven that the left that? can't meme or aim. You see a man in a bush. He has an SKS. The former president is behind you. So yeah, that's been an unusual thing about this one too. It appears that the shooter was using a Bubba SKS. Which the media was very quick to report on as an. Wait a minute, is that good? Is that bad? I don't know what's happening. I'm not a gun guy like you because I live in India. Why would, why would I be a gun guy? But yeah, uh, I don't know. SKS, is that good? Is that bad? Is it like AR? Is it better than AK 47? I don't know what that is about, right? I don't know. SKS, isn't that like uh, the very early guns you get in like Call of Duty and shit? That Bold Action style gun that doesn't have that much damage? I thought it was one of those, right? Am I, am I mistaking that? I don't know. An AK-47, which at first they reported it as like a gang shootout because of fucking course they did. But yeah, then everybody was saying AK-47 style rifle, which I will be honest, when I first saw the really grainy photo, I could see it as being like a, a Saiga Sporter or something. You know, something without a pistol grip that is very clearly a 762 by 39 AK mag in the photo. When you look closer at like the gas block, front sight block area there, it's very clearly SKS with like a Bubba polymer stock because of fucking course. All the media said it was an AK-47. Alex Jones said it was a Dragunov, but in reality, it probably looks something like this. 
which is kind of some garbage you'd see at a gun show during like a gun buying panic for a thousand dollars with some boomer behind the counter saying something. It is like one of those guns that you get in early games, right? Like in Call of Duty and shit, like, uh, you know, it just like doesn't have that much damage, but cluck, cluck, or is it like bolt? I don't know, but something like that. It doesn't do much damage type of shit. Along the lines of, trust me, Sonny, this baby here is sighted in to be the perfect MOD. Now that'll be $1,500. Don't lowball me. I know what I got. <laughs> Somewhere in Florida. People taking shots at Trump, choosing what guns to use. <laughs> I love trash. Yeah, seriously, I'm, I'm really glad that, you know, the people that try to make an attempt on one of the nominees for president of the United States have all been absolute shit at it. <laughs> but seriously, their gear has been awful. First attempt. Second attempt. It's evolving, just backwards. An SKS, by the way, looking something a lot more like this. Fires the same round as an AK, but with a much different... I also love the fact that people have immediately taken a Tarkov to clone the build. God, that was quick. Which the sappy plate part of that brings me around to the other thing. Apparently there were reports that he had a... Uh, yeah. I mean, when it comes to like a temp, that just... Bah. Both feels autistic, right? The first one was probably that, second one feels like that. So this is not some professional attempts, like I said. And this is risky, man, right? Like, I don't have any opinions about uh, American politics. Why would I? I don't live there, right? Uh, I just find entertainment sometimes. Oh, that's just funny. I don't care beyond that. But so far, he's just like running for it. And people are gunned for him twice in just one month gap or something. So just based on that, I'm thinking, I hope he doesn't become president just because of that. Because if he becomes president, then that's going to ramp up. Like, how many people are going to come after him, right? You don't want the news to read the American president was assassinated. Because this is not like the before. This is not the JFK time. America today is very different. There's very symbolism going there. $30 trillion, right? That's your GDP. Yes, you're flying sky high, right? Every, you have $800 billion defense budget, right? You're at a whole other level. Like, nobody's even close. Even China is like getting close, but not really close, right? That level, right? You're flying sky high like that. And if your president get assassinated, right? That's a symbolism, that, that, that's too big, right? Like America can't even defend their president. What's the point of $800 billion budget? What's the point of all this economy and shit? And, and all the talk, right? It, it will become a problem. And a, a lot of places rely on America. So if, if this like stigma gets out, like America is just like all talk type of shit, they can't even defend the president. You feel like that's exaggerated, but it's really not, right? Symbols matter. If that happens, that might destabilize a lot of places around the planet. So this is big deal, right? Secret service really need to like amp up from here. Like even like this, these are not professional attempts. But what, what if there was a professional attempt? What if there was something like uh, even Lee Harvey Oswald level of shit, preparation like from a building and window and shit properly, like some uh, former uh, soldier or some shit who just like, I don't know, for whatever reason, either he's hired assassin or whatever, who knows how to aim, who's a sniper. What if shit like that happens? Ceramic tiles for some sort of makeshift armor. That in a backpack with a GoPro. Two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had uh, ceramic tile in them and a GoPro. The real question was, what was he wearing? Your face when the news hasn't shown what yeah, shirt the second shooter isn't right. was wearing. <laughs> Something tells me this crackhead looking guy was not a member of the demolition by any means. Although the jury's out on whether or not he was a Swifty. Yes, amidst the controversy of Taylor Swift endorsing against Donald Trump for president of the United States. Really? I swear to God, if that is the reason why I have to die in mainland China in World War III, I'm going to be fucking pissed. There was an odd rift between the former president and pop star Taylor Swift mere hours before the second attempt on his life. Jury's out, but um, Taylor Swift's jet seen fleeing sight of Trump shooting. But don't worry, I fully expect that legally... Yeah, see, Taylor Swift wasn't endorsing Biden or anyone back then. But now since, like, uh, Kamala Harris is there, I think there's a political pressure even on her. Like, come on, now you have to endorse it. Come on, like, the type of shit. See, it's become too big at this point that it becomes political, right? That's the problem, right? Because she didn't, she, she didn't just point a blank endorse any Democratic Party that was there. Now she has to endorse type of way. Now she's going to get hate from the right wingers and shit. Right? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, Swift, he, he wasn't really Swifty, it's just a joke, right? I thought he was, you know, like, there was some background, but no. People are just saying, like, oh, Taylor Swift endorsed it, and this happened. Like, okay, come on. Please speaking, she's going to shake it off. I can't, I can't even do that with a straight face, I'm sorry. 
So for reasons that are completely inexplicable in my case, getting into credit card debt can be easy. Getting out, well, the system's kind of set up so that you don't. If you're struggling with credit cards, personal loans, collections, or medical bills, you need to check out PDS Debt. PDS can match you to debt solutions that are tailored to your financial situation. If you're making monthly payments on your debt and your balances aren't going down, PDS has solutions for you. And everybody with $10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies. No minimum credit score required, bad and fair credit, both accepted. So save more by paying off your debt in a fraction of the time. So if you want to get a handle on this for yourself, stop waiting, start saving. Get a free debt analysis right now at pdsdebt.com slash bh. Only takes about 30 seconds. Again, that's pdsdebt.com slash bh. We appreciate them for sponsoring the video. Back to the gun, I am... I'm not surprised, but I'm a little disappointed in the amount of media calling it an AK-47 consistently. It's bad reporting, it's using media buzzword. It's a big gun. It's AK-47. That's how big AK-47 has become. That's how reliable it was throughout the years. That's When you think of gun, you think of AK-47, especially automatic rifle, you think of AK-47. So to media who doesn't know much about guns, everything's AK-47. Words. It makes us gun autists sad. And you know what? I kind of take it personally. It's accusations! These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And <laughs> seriously, just a bub at SKS that continues to blow my mind. Some wannabe martyr with some gun show garbage literally showed up to the edge of Trump's golf course with a fucking bubba SKS, like, Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. Yeah. SKS owner seeing the second assassination attempt rifle get called an AK-47 by the media. I mean, they already get bullied for being poor. No need to add to it. It's actually really funny because like the SKS used to be like the poverty pony gun for surplus. The SKS is like what you bought if you were a broke college kid and you couldn't afford an AK. But now if you're a broke college kid. I like how we're talking about guns this way. I don't care how SKS is. It's, it's, it's chambered in AK-47 round, like you said, like seven something by 39. That's AK-47 round, right? That can kill anyone. That is a deadly round, right? And if you have SKS and if you basically try to shoot somebody even like whatever like effective range, you can kill somebody easily. But I like this since like guns like, you know, like there's a hierarchy and things like, oh, that, this is better, that is better. Basically, gunners like Brandon Herrera, oh, it's just SKS. It's still, a, it's not a BB gun, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Probably can't afford either. Gun tubers frantically trying to ID the shooter's rifle so they can make a video about it. I have never felt more personally attacked by a meme than this moment right now because it's exactly what the fuck i was doing gun tubers first attempt ar second attempt ak we've been through this call it an ak one more fucking time you know if you guys actually do want to see that no shit let me I was about to say that, like, wait a minute, Brandon doesn't do that. Why is he talking about it? He's just talking about the meme video. But yeah, he recreates the situation, right? So yeah, I guess it makes sense. But he doesn't, like, rush it, like... Brandon has become so big, he takes his time, like, big products and things. It's different. Let me know. I know this one isn't as media crazy or anything like that, but I still have seen a lot of people talking about how, you know, a scoped SKS would not have been a, a viable weapon to use at the four or 500 yard mark, which is interesting. So if you're interested in seeing that- I all of that. If SKS is a rifle, right? Is, is that worse than AR? Like, what is the range of that supposed to be? I don't know. I'm getting confused here. Wait a minute. It's, uh, yeah, it would be like, it would be like a medium range, same way how AR would be, right? I mean, I, you know, I was thinking like rifle, the base, like AK-47 chamber round. So yeah, so I'm guessing AR-15 has better accuracy at higher range than that. The number of people talk, talking about the first attempt, like, oh, 800, you know, like, it can do even up to eight, 900 yards, you can do it with AR type of way. So I guess that case is not that good. Is that it? Matt, let us know down in the comments. And while you're there, be sure to check to make sure you're still subscribed, because YouTube's still doing that thing again, where they're unsubscribing people that still watch our videos. It's really fun. Yeah, it's actually going to hurt me the most to just build that rifle, I think. Just because I promised I would never do that to a poor, unsuspecting SKS. I was like, it's not the most egregious build I've ever seen, but I mean, whoever built that clearly didn't get their start in gunsmithing at sdi.edu using the links down in the description and in the pinned comment. I think the most impressive part of this whole thing is that this is now the second time former Prime Minister of Japan Shinzo Abe has shielded Donald Trump from a bullet. See you, space cowboy. Trump.
I still remember Shinzo Abe when he was like shaking Trump's hand. <laughs> Trump hold it for a bit longer and then like, oh, just like, his whole expression was like too cartoonish at that moment. Like, what the fuck was that type of it? Current objective, survive. Trust me, I know it's bad enough being a public figure in politics. I mean, not even close to that level, but to have the media spinning hatred against you so badly that now twice in the last two months, somebody's made an attempt on your life. I honestly feel bad for his family. And especially with blue and non weirdos like claiming that none of these ever happened or that they were somehow staged inside jobs. Trump keeps staging his own assassination attempts. He blue Anon? Is that supposed to be liberals who like QAnon? Is that it? Like who gave them that name? What the hell is a blue Anon? Must be stopped. Secret Service, please stop sending me insane people to shoot. I will give full credit to Secret Service. At least they were on top of their game this time. As opposed to the last time. Or some times before that. Apparently official. President Kennedy died. All right, Trump. Now you're just showing off. Donald. Come on, man. You can't really compare the same. Like, Oswald was like somewhat trained and things, right? He wasn't the same. Come on. You have protected my kind. I hereby name you honorary feline and grant you nine lives. It was very nice of the cat community to make this happen. They're eating the cats. Now the shooter who, thankfully in this okay, case, didn't kill that? anybody, so I, I still won't say his name. Fuck it. I hate giving these people attention. You want to be a martyr for political violence? Fuck you. I'm gonna say you got a tiny peepee, -pee, you look like a meth head construction worker who I pay for half the job up front on Monday and suddenly by Thursday you've disappeared. And so have my grandma's Percocets. That being said, he was actually apprehended and not killed, surrendering to police, which um, anyone wanna take bets on when he doesn't... Uh, Died. I'm always down for a good conspiracy. Ah, come on. Not, not in this case. Somebody tried to like, look man, ah. Trump doesn't have that power, right? I don't know how to explain that. Trump is powerful, don't get me wrong. When he become, if he becomes president, he's powerful again. He's a president. He does have money and he has his fan base. Ultra rich, top five richest guy on the planet, Lil Shift, Jeff Bezos, Musk, and other people, right? Bill Gates, right? And whatever other like ultra rich, rich, like... I don't know how to say that, like even Elon Musk said that, oh really, I'm the richest guy? Okay, let's see how long that stays type of way. Because people don't understand what that means. Your perceived worth can go up and down, right? There are rich people who are rich because of assets. Their family has been richer because of the assets, how many shit they own. Not just because how, bu how their business is perceived to do good, so you're the richest guy now, because you're perceived to be that rich. If, if Elon Musk suddenly decide, oh, by the way, I'm selling like SpaceX and like Tesla, fuck it, I'm out. He, he, whatever money he'll get, it won't be the same as he's worth now. He's worth now because everybody thinks he's doing that great. If he suddenly starts to sell, he might get half the money. He's like, he won't be top five riches at that point, would he be? So there are people who are richer because of the shit they own and how many places their like pens are dipping, right? So being that level of rich and having reach and influence is different than the level of power Trump has. So yeah, okay, shit like this has happened. Like, you know, he's not suddenly mysteriously gonna die or something. I don't, I don't see that. This is not some Illuminati level shit. I don't think that's gonna happen. See if you guys are. Aye, aye, Captain! No such thing as a coincidence at this level. BlackRock Capital Investment Corporation. So if you don't know who BlackRock is, they're basically what? like, the personification of evil on a corporate level. Anything that you hate in the media, they're probably behind it. They make good stuff. TV shows, surveillance systems, all history books, voting machines. Wait a minute. There's a thing going around that actually uh, both Trump assassins were at one point featured in a Black Rock ad. 100% the shooter in Pennsylvania was featured in a Black Rock ad. And this new shooter was apparently featured in one uh, where he was protesting for Ukraine on the Capitol steps. I made a new friend. Real or BlackRock recruiter for a CIA assassin program? BlackRock recruiter for a CIA assassin program. So I'm including these memes because A, they're funny. But B, memes like this are, have been popping up all over social media. I yeah, this is a reach. I don't see that. Like every time you think about like massively organized corporation that, you know, like making puppets of everyone, the level of organization you think of is not easy to pull even the people with the biggest reach and like power. And people always need a back door to like slide away when shit goes down. You can't do that if you're doing this level of manipulation. So there is not going to be one organization or one group doing that. You know, I think that. So 
every time something happens like also oh, there's some illuminati level organization that manipulates everything not really cia has done things that would make you think like cia behind probably everything but usually when you look behind that their whole thing is about like how is this going to benefit american country and doing shit outside of america even inside of the america but it's mostly because of like achieving some goal type of way not manipulating leaders and things like trying to go after presidents and shit that's just too much i don't think cia would ever do that i did want to put one piece of clarification though pennsylvania shooter absolutely that happened and that's fucking weird. I think the claims about this shooter being connected with BlackRock are actually not true. Apparently it was a separate video that had no connection to BlackRock, or maybe that's just what they want me to think. Maybe they're just covering their tracks. Maybe they just threatened me before I started filming this video and I really want to keep my head because BlackRock is fucking scary. And if anything gets me killed in the next two years, it's going to be me talking shit repeatedly about BlackRock. Either way, I would have been very interested to be a fly on the wall when Kamala was informed a second shooter has missed the trumpet. All in all, I am very glad that the former president is okay. I am very aggravated to have to make a video like this a second time, but I appreciate you guys contributing with memes and helping make light of a bad situation. Because the best way to cope with something dark is with humor, specifically memes. Anyways, I, I thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a bit of a... Yeah, and especially about him talking about like, oh, talking about some secret organization that's gonna get me killed. People think like, this if there is secret organization like that exist they don't want you to talk about it that's really not true if anything if people talk about that organization more the perception in public would be like oh surely that's like overblown thing surely if, if people are talking about it it can't be so secret it's probably overblown so that would actually help the organization stay away from like actual consequences and like actual media right if there is an actual illuminati out there they are feeling like, oh, we're fine. Everybody talks about Illuminati, so nobody's going to pay attention, right? It's like, uh, you know, like, oh, I don't know what, what reference to give. But yeah, basically something like that. Like something is too overblown. Something is talked about too much. That's just the right enough of like thing to, you know, uh, oh, by the way, they're probably not real, right? So if anything, if people talk about some secret organization too much, people are not going to believe that that secret organization actually exists. And they're gonna help that secret organization stay anonymous, right? I don't know. Conspiracies goes all around the places. It's just like sometimes your head hurts, right? So, you know, does that exist? Does this exist? All that shit. Alright, well, that was Swifties trying to kill Trump by Charles Brandon Herrera. If you like my next one, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.